Democrat Illinois State Representative Diana Pappas believes men should be castrated and charged money to store their sperm as a way to prevent abortions. Yes, really. Pappas had met with pro-life critics of the Reproductive Health Act, one of whom recounted the extraordinary meeting and her statements on the Wayne Township Republican website, We tried to keep politics out of this equation, as we were here to represent the parish members for pro-life. I personally, introduced myself as a business owner, who is a licensed insurance agent. Two minutes into the discussion, she revealed her views on the topic and how we won't be able to change her mind, Jackie Hayden wrote, her eyes connected with mine and she said, you know ladies, with technology the way it is, we wouldn't have an abortion problem if we applied a plan. Now, I've been told it's a bit radical. But if we allowed men to be castrated, took the sperm to the bank, collected tax dollars on it for storage, then when it's time, to have the man decide he's ready to begin a family, well then problem is solved. The Gateway Pundit.com reports, this is reportedly the second time that Papas has suggested this absurd plan to pro-life constituents. Frederick Douglass Foundation President, and Speaker for the National Black Pro-Life Coalition. Babbitt Holder is now calling for Pappas to be formally disciplined, she needs to be censored, Holder told the DuPage Policy Journal. What she said is every bit as bad as what Rep. Stephanie, Kith Allett talked about when she spoke of brewing up a legionnaire's potion for then Rep. Peter Breen. There needs to be accountability when you make these kinds of statements and you're supposed to be a public servant. The bill that was being discussed would prohibit the state from interfering in any way with abortions, it would erase criminal penalties for performing abortions and allow non-doctors to do them. The legislation also would repeal the partial birth abortion ban, abortion clinic regulations and conscience protections for medical workers, according to a report from Life News. Let's block ads. Why?